Uh, I'm Jeremy Kuyard, and we're in my studio in Bushwick in Brooklyn. I guess I would say I'm a new media artist, and that's what I teach. I didn't go to school for it ever. I was just always doing art, and I was like a painter, and I made comic books and stuff like that. But I always loved computers also, and I loved like programming, doing art on computers, just spending time. Eventually I started making weird animations and putting the paintings on the computer to like edit them and then finally found a way to like merge painting with computers. <laughs> like I'm perfectly happy to be in front of a computer like 10 hours a day. Like that's disgusting, but um, <laughs> it's just how I feel. Like I'm just so comfortable in front of computers. So a lot of the stuff I make is with the understanding that this can be experienced fully in front of a computer. The last big show I did in New York, you know, what, maybe two or three hundred people came, but, and it was a video game, and it was an installation built around a video game, but then the video game itself was downloaded much more, and then people played it on YouTube, people watched that, so that was like thousands of people experienced it that way. So I, I can reach a, a lot more people. For the, the Philips and Data Commission, I'm building this, this futuristic sci-fi world where like these cartoon aliens saved us from ourselves. So we're like, it's sometimes it feels lately like we're on the brink of like ruin, <laughs> like humanity. Um, so I had this funny idea that these kind of like cartoony aliens come down and like, you know, tell us how to get energy without gas and like cure diseases and s stop income inequality and, and stuff like that. So there's an alien, he's, he's in his bed, he's reading Wikipedia <laughs> about Earth, um, and he's chatting with his friend, and he's like, I need to get a, a lamp, and his friend's like, check out my, my uncle's store. And it turns out his uncle's store is like this Ikea that got repurposed to be like a re-education camp for like billionaires, to like teach them to, to not be greedy, or you know, just to not fuck stuff up anymore. <laughs> My favorite kind of art is art when you can't tell that it's art. It's when you go into a space and you see some stuff and you're just like, what is this? Like, this makes no sense. Like, how does this fit in to the trajectory of art history, of culture, or whatever, you know? So that's why I like working in this kind of video game space. So like a lot of times when you make art with this computer software, it's, it's almost like a collaboration between this code and you. And I think there could be like a lot of ideas that, that come out of that. <laughs>